What's going on everyone, it's Ryan here. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my experience when I was transitioning in high school. So as some of you may know, I started transitioning when I was about 15, almost 16. And that's usually around the end of sophomore year, beginning of junior year. So basically I transitioned right smack dab in the middle of high school. So that, that part of it kind of sucked. So for grade nine and most of 10, I would say, I did not identify as trans yet. I didn't know what that was. I didn't know that it existed. Ninth grade, I was still considered very feminine, very girly looking. I tried to fit in the best I could. You know, I wore uh, short shorts and tank tops and I tried, I really did. And at that time, I still identified as a lesbian. Then 10th grade came along and I decided to cut my hair a lot shorter that was my first haircut and i got it cut into a sort of shag a little justin bieber 2009 justin bieber looking thing but still identified as a lesbian at that time but then end of uh 10th grade that's when i finally discovered there was a name and that name fit me and that's what got the ball rolling so i immediately told my girlfriend at the time what i was feeling and she was very accepting so that i got my first supporter right there and that was really what I needed to go ahead and tell the rest of the world. So coming out, I decided instead of, you know, going around telling every single person in high school to call me he, him, call me Ryan, I decided to use social media because, you know, you can contact a lot of people at the same time using that. So I came out on Twitter. It was this very long thing. I was explaining how I felt and I got a very good response. So after that whole Twitter thing, I got a bunch of text messages from a lot of my friends uh, showing support and calling me Ryan, which was, it made me feel amazing. I honestly feel so lucky the way things turned out because I've heard many stories from other trans guys who have lost many friends because they came out and they weren't accepted at all and they got bullied in high school but for me it was the complete opposite i think i have a very different story because i guess where i'm from a lot of people are much more open-minded and accepting to these sort of issues and these sort of things it was a very interesting situation because before i came out i was already kind of known around school just because i was also part of the tv productions class at my high school so we would have you know the news for the school and i was an anchor i appeared on tv and most of the students at the school would watch me every morning before i transitioned it, it used to have my birth name and then when i started junior year that's when i was like full on going into my transition uh, it had my new name on the screen and i think that threw off a bunch of people but once people began to talk to everyone else they all kind of jumped on board i think because i was somewhat known already that also contributed to why i was never once bullied to my face i mean i'm sure people might have talked behind my back but it was never bad after i came out really my only trouble was at home because I feel as though school was my safe place because everyone already accepted me. You know, I had all my friends there, I had my girlfriend at the time, and pretty much that kept me sane. So I came out to all of my friends and all of school first, but it took me another year to actually come out to my family. But I would be going to school, be called he and him and Ryan, then I would go back home, and then it would change to female pronouns and my birth name, and it was very, very hard on my emotional and mental health. So bottom line, I loved school. I loved going to school. Now, I don't want you to get the idea that my transition was easy, because it sure as hell was not easy. It was not fucking easy. Okay, I still dealt with dysphoria. I still had to deal with, you know, hiding my identity from my family, because I was not ready to go jump onto that thing yet that was i was very scared but yeah um another thing that happened junior year was in order to let my teachers know i wrote them all of them all six of them a letter explaining my situation and they were they were all so good with it also i loved all my teachers and then senior year comes along and I try out to be on the cheerleading team as a male cheerleader. So this is where 
it gets a little bit complicated in terms of changing into different clothes. We would all change in the same room, but just at different times. So the males would go in change first because they're faster. And then the girls would go in after the guys were done and do their thing. We didn't really know what to do with me, basically. I had to go to the office and talk to a counselor or something like that. And basically I was given the okay to change with the guys but that was still kind of uh, not exactly comfortable because I've always, I have a binder. Guys don't wear binders and I don't, I don't have that. So that missing was a little bit, <sighs> but I mean, I had, um, I have some pretty great friends that were also in cheer at the time. And so I would change with them and they wouldn't care so i would be able to just take off my shirt sometimes and throw them on another shirt still having my binder mind you and um take down my pants put on, throw on the shorts and they didn't care i mean i still struggled in my head dealing with it but as far as i could see the fact that it didn't bother anyone else helped it to not bother me as much uh, another great thing that happened senior year was that instead of having my birth name in the yearbook i was able to get my preferred name, I was able to get Ryan in the yearbook under my picture because I knew someone in yearbook and they did me a solid. I'm very happy that I was able to get that even though my name wasn't legally changed. The only thing that I really regretted happening was that uh, during graduation, they called me up by my birth name. And I contemplated for many weeks prior in telling someone if they could call me by Ryan instead when I go up and get my diploma because I mean that's a very memorable moment. The only thing that stopped me was because my family was going to be there and I knew sure as hell they were not going to be okay with that. I mean imagine them sitting in the crowd waiting for their kid to be called up to get their diploma and they're thinking, well, they're, I don't even know what they'd be thinking, they'd just be expecting you know my birth name and then they hear another name and i go up and they're gonna be like what the f who the you know maybe i should have done that maybe i should have came out like that and be like whoops you know this is, has been happening that would have been really fun to come home to afterwards so yeah that was my experience transitioning in high school so really not horrible it wasn't horrible at all it was it was very good high school was good to me so in that aspect, I'm very lucky, but I don't want people to think that I didn't struggle with myself the entire time also. Yes, other people accepted me, but I still had trouble accepting myself. You know, really, I would not have been able to get through it had it not been for everyone's support and having someone by my side who loved me even right in the middle of my transition. So I really feel like I made the right friends with the right people. And really, I just have all of you to thank if you watch my videos, thank you. So, I loved that school so much. And there's probably so many more details that I didn't mention that happened in high school, but if I were to mention them, this would be a super long video and I would not want to edit it. So yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. I love you guys, give this video a thumbs up if you liked anything that you heard, and if you want, you can follow me on my social media, which will be on the screen and also in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.